Oh, now the pot on the card that I mentioned that's in the little Easter egg is the same th- type of pot that's on the back of the card. We'll flip it over. If you see where it says Life's Potluck Buffet. And that's that same pot. You know, it's a Dutch oven. That's what we call it in the U.S. Elsewhere in the world, you might call it a casserole in English. But it's a heavy pot. It could be, say, cast iron with enamel. It could be ceramic, metal. And it seals in heat and moisture as uh, its own little kind of mini oven. The ones that have the ridges on top, do you know what those ridges are for? So if you have one of these at home and it has a lid with ridges, I could. I know one brand that I'm thinking of that um, has, uh, has very prominent ridges on it. The reason for those ridges is so that coals don't fall off of the pot. Because see, originally, all right, you see, nowadays we put the Dutch oven in our ovens, right? In the olden days, that was the oven. You put the oven on coals, and then you cover it with coals in some techniques. And the problem with that is that the coals would slide off the top of the Dutch oven. So these ovens were designed with lids that prevented that from happening. Very clever. Do you own a casserole like the one on the Life's Potluck Buffet card deck? If you do, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you call it wherever you are in the world. And let me know what you cook in it. If you're still listening, Michael B. Jordan, thank you for listening again. And I know you put in the thing about the ruffle, whether you own a ruffle shirt or not. But maybe you could also say whether or not you own this kind of casserole. So that'd be cool if that happened. Oh, also, if you are a company that makes a casserole or Dutch oven and you're looking for a podcast to sponsor, please get in touch. And also let me know what you call a casserole or Dutch oven. So if you let me know what your company calls it, I would be really interested to know. Thank you. Do you have any hobbies that you consider unusual? I'd love to hear it. I wonder if there's anybody out there who collects either Dutch ovens or casseroles, whatever they call them, and what they do with them. If you are a person who collects Dutch ovens or casseroles, please let me know in the comments and let me know what the name of your club is and what time it meets and what day and where. Oh, or if you're in the Netherlands and you just collect ovens, that would also a Dutch oven collecting club. That also counts. So if you if you do that, let me know as well. Thanks. And even though I didn't find anything else of particular use for our card, I was really happy to hear Dolly Parton sing those songs. Oh, and hi, Dolly Parton. If you're listening out there, I've been asking people this question, and so I'll ask you as well. Do you have a baking dish or pot that it has a lid and it's either cast iron with enamel on it or sometimes it's ceramic or sometimes it's another metal. It's sometimes called a casserole or a Dutch oven. One, do you have one? Two, what do you call it? And three, do you have any recipes you could recommend for us to make in our casseroles and Dutch ovens? Thank you. I don't know if that's how Tiesto describes it. So Tiesto, if you're out there, let me know what how you think of your music, how you describe it. That would be really neat to know. Oh, also, since you are Dutch, Tiesto, I know that about you. I believe that about you. If I'm, I don't think I'm mistaken. I think you're Dutch. Do you know about this? Do you have a pot that's like it's a casserole with a lid? And in the United States, we call it a Dutch oven. Sometimes it's cast iron with enamel on it. Sometimes it's ceramic. Uh, Sometimes it's uh, just metal. I saw a video recently with someone using it accidentally, someone using a Dutch oven in the wild, so to speak, where they had put like hot rocks in it and stuff. It was kind of cool. I can't 
remember what the point of the video is be besides that because once you show once you show me a Dutch oven in a video, it's all over. That's all I care about. So um, yes, Tiesto, please let us know what you call this pot type of pot in Dutch. What you cook in it, and oh well, first if you have one, and then if you do have one and use it often, what do you cook in it? Um, we would love to know. We're trying to get a big collection of recipes for our Dutch ovens. I'm going to say a word of appreciation to The Rock. I really appreciate how you made those people's days in that video that I was talking about earlier. And I loved it, and I thought it was just wonderful. So, thank you. Oh, that's right. I also asked everybody yesterday what they cook in the lidded pot that's called a casserole or a Dutch oven sometimes. So I will also extend that question to The Rock. So Rock, if you would, please let us know if you own a Dutch oven or a casserole, if you call it a casserole, and if so, what do you cook in that Dutch oven? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I just asked The Rock what he's cooking. Let me give you a little background in case you don't know what just happened. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, who we've been talking about, became famous as a professional wrestler. And his catchphrase was, if you smell what The Rock is cooking. Now, if you heard what I just asked, I asked The Rock what The Rock is cooking. Does, a, does some sort of tear in the space-time continuum open up when you ask The Rock what The Rock is cooking? That is a question for, honestly, I don't know who's qualified to answer that question. Here's a koan. You know, one of those paradoxical questions from Zen Buddhism. You know, these are things like, if a tree falls in a forest and there's no one there to hear it, does it make a sound? And things like that. If the rock is cooking in a forest and there's no one there to smell it, what happens? I guess that really wasn't a koan. It was more of just a question.